the emphasis that the students are putting on browsing. What that means is they're more passive in how they're grabbing information from Facebook. And I think we could teach students to be a little more proactive in looking actively and interacting and sharing like important information um, as opposed to being passive recipients of whatever marketing people are mm -hmm. throwing up there and things like that. And I think educators could work on teaching. We have lots of scavenger hunt games and routines for helping kids explore museums and you know parts of the world. If we did some version of that as educators on Facebook, we might give students, even the shy ones who browse and don't interact, more to look at than um, whatever the consumer market is willing to post and things like that. Um, and then I see just lots of possibilities for cross-national sharing of ideas and things as well that, you know, teachers in other countries could talk with teachers here and then have students doing cultural scavenger hunts, if you will, <laughs> um, or activities like that that would encourage students to reach out to each other and hopefully build positive social skills on a media site like this rather than the reactive kind. Um, I think when you see bullying and misbehavior on Facebook, it's more a reaction to not having a sense of what else I can do. Um, and so I'd like to see educators give students more active things. <laughs>